Now I just want to talk about the response of the families. I was watching a little clip from the, the court hearings and I heard family members pray for forgiveness for this killer. And I can't even wrap my mind around the idea of forgiving this monster. I can't and I won't. The families can forgive this monster, but I won't. We have to stop loving and forgiving our enemies. We've done that for too long. That is nothing but a reflection of a slave mentality. We're the only people running around here forgiving our enemies. Forgiving our enemies only opens us up to opportunities for more victimhood. Loving our enemies only opens us up for being a victim, being the footstool of white supremacy, being the doormat of white supremacy. We have to quit trusting our enemy. We need to open our eyes and stay on point and stay on our post. We have to defend ourselves. We have to protect ourselves. We can't just let anybody in our midst in the name of so-called tolerance. I understand that the family wants to forgive this monster, but I won't. We need justice. And I hope that this monster is put to death. He had no mercy for those nine people in that church, and we should have no mercy for him. 